Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my current luxury jewelry favorites that I have just been wearing absolutely non-stop. Um, I get asked to do jewelry videos quite often and this was one of the questions in my Q&A and I'm finally getting to around to doing this video, the current pieces that I am using. So I am going to turn the camera around because we all know, we know, this isn't going to focus, but I did want to show you while it is like this. I wanted to show you the necklace on me, which I may just take a screenshot because it might show up better. Um, but I am going to start with my luxury 18 karat gold pieces, and then I'm also going to share with you my luxury sterling silver jewelry that I have been wearing as well. So I'm going to get that camera turned around, and we're going to start with the 18 karat gold. Okay, so let's start with the bracelet. This is the lock bracelet with the half um, pave diamonds, and they are absolutely beautiful. I will write down below what the carat weight is because I can never remember. And the way that this bracelet works is you pull this part here out, and then that twists and moves. But the the hinge is here. And how my sales associate recommends me to wear it is to have the gold on the outside and to have the opening on the top. So that is what it looks like on me. I currently do not stack this with anything um, because I just don't think that it needs stacking. I think it just stands alone. Okay, let's move into the ring. This one is from Bulgari and it is from the B01 uh, line. They no longer make this, sadly. This is in the tri-color gold. It is absolutely just beautiful. I love the rose, the yellow, and the white. And I think it coordinates very nicely with the bracelet. I think it's chunky enough to stand with a stack or with a single bracelet, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. So the earrings I have just been wearing nonstop are my Cartier Love hoops. And I cannot remember because I'm filming, well, I can't remember because I haven't said it yet. <laughs> I'm filming this video in two different days. Um, so I will probably have already told you what they did to this. They elongated the post on this one and on my Trinities and on the studs that I wear every day that I never take off. They have the lever backs, but they're so much more comfortable now. This does have a distinct right pair and a left pair. And this one, where it angles out like that, would go on the right ear. And the one that angles that way would be on the left ear. These are a beautiful thickness. They're a nice weight, but they're definitely not heavy. And they are so incredibly comfortable now that they have adjusted those for me. And I'm really, really impressed that they did that. I just wanted to show the Trinity earrings as well very quickly. You can see how much more elongated that is. I wish I had done it before and after, but I honestly wasn't even sure, you know, if they would help me or not. Um, but that is what they look like and they are so much more comfortable. Okay, now for the necklace, um, I do have a Cartier Love necklace. I do not have a Justin Clue. I also have a Trinity, but um, I was just wearing all sorts of brands and I went with my Bulgari B01. Looks like there's something on there. And my biggest regret with this one is I wish I had gotten it in the tricolor instead of in the solid gold. And of course the tricolor is gone now, but this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. Um, I do need, I should do a comparison of this between like the Van Cleef, the Alhambra. The chain on this is so much thicker. It's such, in my opinion, better, better quality. Let me show you the back of it. You've heard me say all the time with jewelry to get the extenders. This comes with three, which is just awesome. You don't have to send it in. You just clasp the lobster claw 
behind whichever of the circles so you can make it as long or as short as you would like. It's a very chunky, bold necklace and I just absolutely adore this. And lastly, my 25th wedding anniversary gift from my husband, and this is my Rolex. It is in the 36 millimeter. It has the full diamond bezel, the diamond markers. It has the mother of pearl. I don't know if you can see, but the mother of pearl on this, the color is spectacular. It took us a long time to get this watch because the color had to be just right. It has the 18 karat gold links uh, running down it. This is the Jubilee band, and this is what it looks like on me. And these have been, have been my most worn and most favorite pieces as of late. Okay, so let's get into the sterling silver. I have just been wearing my David Yerman over and over and over, my blue topaz pieces. If you should get one in the boutique, it's been a while since I have, but this is how a ring would have come packaged. If you purchase from Nordstrom, Neiman, somewhere like that, you will probably just end up with a little pouch like that. So let's get into this. The first piece that I'm going to show you is a necklace. And this is the David Yerman wheat chain necklace. I do not know if they still make this. I love this necklace. It is just substantial. You can see the DY on the lobster claw and it is just beautiful. And one interesting thing about David Yerman jewelry is it does not tarnish. So there is some kind of a coating on this to keep it from tarnishing. And yet it still remains with that beautiful oxidized look on it. So what I wear with this is, where is it? It's in my pocket. I was trying to bring everything in here. I'm like, where is it? I wear, I have several enhancers, but this one is my favorite. This is blue topaz cabochons with pave set diamonds in the center. And I don't know if you can see, this is London blue and these are Hampton blue. There we go. So it has the four. So this would technically be called, oh, I'm sorry, this is Swiss blue. The darker blue would be called London blue. He calls it Hampton blue because he has a home in the Hampton. He is a Hamptons, he is a New Yorker. The back of this, just the detail on this. So this is an enhancer. If you don't know what an enhancer is, it just clips up here. And I don't see a lot of these being made these days and I just love this. Let me show it to you on the necklace. So you just slip it over, clip it in, and that is it. And you can just switch it out so easily. I love that piece. Set this here so we have some eye candy while I get out other eye candy. This is my favorite piece from David Yerman ever. And I thought that I had lost this piece when we moved into this house. Oh my goodness, I went to the bank, I went to the safety deposit, I, I went and retaced all my steps. I went and looked underneath the seat of every car. It was gone and it is long since discontinued. This is part of the Renaissance collection, as is this. And it is, again, alternating between the Hampton blue and the Swiss blue. His gemstones, he just picks out the best. But I found it, it was hidden underneath some tissue paper. So this has a box and tongue closure. And even the closure, as you can see, has detail on it, the back, of every one of these has little hearts on it. I just love the attention to detail that David Yerman puts into his pieces. I'm gonna have to move this to where I can reach my, my arm a little bit better here. And then of course I got it twisted. I've never done that before. Okay, so get this on for you, sorry. I was trying to do it on camera, but wasn't working. But that is it on me. 
And I also have a necklace that matches this, the, exactly that um, shape of stone and that size. And sticking with bracelets, this is part of their cable design. And this has the blue topaz on the ends. And this one opens with a hinge. And again, you can see on the inside, all of the detail. And I have been wearing these two together. And I like that a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. So let's move into rings. I have two and I keep switching up both of them because I have one that is in the Swiss blue and one that is in the Hampton blue. So this is the Hampton blue. This is part of the Infinity collection. And you can see it crosses over in the back. It's got the cable and you can see the faceting of the stone. It has the checkerboard faceting absolutely beautiful also the same with these they have the checkerboard faceting but that is what that one looks like on me i think it's a gorgeous gorgeous ring the other ring that i have been alternating with is the swiss blue and i think this was just part of the cable collection and this one does have 18 karat gold around it and that is not plated that is 18 karat gold and then it has a large checkerboard cut swiss blue and i think that's just stunning and the last piece that i have been wearing is are is are <laughs> are my david yerman earrings these match the bracelet perfectly and they also match the necklace that i have um, that is in this same stone and these are just gorgeous i just absolutely love this again these are part of the renaissance collection the backs have the hearts on them you can see how beautifully faceted the gemstone is these are just stunning stunning pieces So I have on the sterling silver now, the blue topaz, and those are the pieces that I have just absolutely been loving. If you are a jewelry lover, do you change your jewelry up all the time and mix and match um, brands like I did with the 18 karat gold? Do you do sweets like I do with the blue topaz? Um, I just, I love jewelry. I love mixing it up. I love matching it up too. But I hope you have an amazing day today and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.